It's the only one downtown, and it's the only one that will get a sort of unsuspecting crowd. Other places, Children's Museum, Mattress Factory, will get art people know that know it and who go there on purpose. This is sort of like to hit all kinds of people. But there are really, uh, what I love about this area is that it's a really amazing cross-section of people who've come through here. Yes. You know, and for Pittsburgh, I think that's a big deal. We, we map the plaza, and so any movement that's happening in the plaza will trigger a different gesture. You know, when the, when the plaza is dark and when no one's there, there's no sound. Okay. Because it's the robot, so it, it only reacts to the movement of the people. The, the blue lines are um, much more symbolic and much less, they're not functional at all. They're, they're the things that pay, make people look up, because the, the zeitgeist of the piece, the, the meaning of the piece has to do with the people and the patterns that they create within the context of the Philip Johnson architecture and the patterns on the floor that, that already exist. Because everybody comes and they say, where's the robot? Where's the robot? And they say, where's R2-D2? Where's the dog? And what we're trying to do is move the perception and at the same time question the whole idea of human beings and machines. So I was trying to invoke a kind of spontaneous choreography. It's, as I said, the the monitoring of all the movement in the space in regards to four levels of gesture. Walk, pause, step, and reach. 